O oh, Ame, please send to him to find a stream to come forward with this matter in this matter. Not so late in the game, so to speak. How exactly does his loved ones... I'm dreaming of murder as I sleep to you next night. One can only point the finger at him. If any of you really was nothing but a horrible mistake in doing so. He had made it to the bathroom. He took one last long look in the mirror himself. Well, that isn't exactly an entirely accurate statement. Slowbeef wasn't exactly a model, of course. But he certain one certainly wasn't ugly. By definition of the average person. But what he saw in the mirror wasn't himself, but his actions. Leaning in closer and closer, he found every sin he's ever committed, every person he's ever wronged, all faults possessed by himself. It was how he felt, not how he looked, and he certainly felt like the ugliest person on the planet in that very moment. Others try to tell the depressed to look in the bright side of things, but they fail to understand that this is often an impossibility, plainly put. It's not a road down to hell, but a spiring, snaring staircase, and the man in question was too far down already to be able to look up and see the light pour out all at this point. In fact, it was as if his, such demands were in jest, taunting, and belittling. Slowbeef watched his face, and it felt figured to trek downstairs to the kitchen, an action he was loath to, another cog in his ridiculous self-destructive routine that he'd followed for at least a year now. But he figured he couldn't, didn't matter at this point. He was more than glad to cease smoking, but fought, realized far too late that it was simply alcohol shifting more and more into focus in his daily life. He didn't have the energy to find it, especially not today. He got himself a drink and tried so hard he, as he could to forget about it, to little avail. He rapidly grew frustrated, and himself, his relations, at the world, as time passed and he still had to sit there, poisoning himself further. He looked into the room in a desperate attempt to find some way to pass the time, be it seconds. He held his hands for several seconds as he thought of sleepless nights in the very same room, holding staring contests with the knife strewn out in front of him. This morning he had something in particular planned, and was able to shut it out of his mind. In fact, it pleased him as he got ready and left the house. It was here when he started and when he wanted to be, silly as it sounded. Truthfully, it sounded ridiculous to himself, but still, he came once again to the clean Jersey Shore. He took out his phone for just a second. June 25th, 2012, at 4.53 a.m. Slow Beef no, knew what had to, yeah, he had to be frank here, or otherwise he'd never have the nerve to accomplish what he had set to do. Yes, he had indeed intended to kill himself on this day. It sounded ridiculous to hear himself think it, even... Sadness is relative, yes, but why did he have the right to be so down? Suppose those around him survived greater misfortune tenfold. Actually, it was probably the matter of this internal debate that really depressed him the most. He knew that it was a ridiculous place to try and commit suicide, but he just really wanted to see at least one more. Even if he had to travel somewhere first, he was glad. He, he was still glad he came. Looking around, he saw what so many many times is described as beautiful. Even as he had the first time beholding the location, just as he had when he proposed. Especially the beauty of the shining, rotating moon I must in queue on the ways down. Wait, what? He went down to investigate it. His eyes had not fooled him once. He was seriously bearing witness to such a bizarre object. Well, he hadn't much to lose at this point, especially so he reached out to top of the spinning, glowing shape. Consequences be damned. Slow beef, what are you doing? Now it's up! And there's a, myster a mysterious fill yelled and fell. Slowbeef looked down in confusion, his sound had reached inches away from the strange contraption. He failed to find a strange, poorly spoken voice to look strained uh, strip. Proton's the word! Proton John yelled and sliced the cube in half before shooting it a couple dozens of times and cutting it above it a m more times and then sm smashing it with his foot and headbutting it some more. <laughs> Slow Beef looked around, really confused and kind of scared. The beautiful turn of white and pixels, and the pace had, fixed, uh, had faded, like it was computer simulation. And I guess it was one, I guess. Everything had turned to dark, and Slow Beef and up and woke when he was still before he touched the cube, not the one from the con simulation, the one from all above that in the last chapter, remember? 
He was still in a dark room and Diabetes was still there. The cube was still fucked up because of Proton. Proton John, where have you been? I thought you disappeared. Do you to go for Omega? Go, go, go! But he had already used his proton boots to jump out of the pit after throwing a proton warp hole down for the M Duke escape with. Slow Beef was a sad bull from Proton John in a weird simulation, but woke up Diabetes and they went to the warp hole to look for Pro. Poroto John to meet their destiny. Damn, that Proton John's better than I thought. He broke my magic cube. Chip Chizoom said. I don't give a fuck! Kill yourself, Slow Beef, damn it! Uh, the mysterious man uh, barked to him like a dog. Ain't not a cute one either. I guess it was like a pit bull or something, but puppies are really cute, so I guess a grown one. Chip, chase him. 